The Mighty Ducks Game Changers just had episode 8, Change on the Fly, release on Disney+. Plus. This was mostly a positive episode for me, which was kind of surprising. There's definitely some things I don't like, especially with how quickly the Don't Bothers have been able to progress in their quote hockey skill. But for the most part, this episode was pretty well done. We got some really good character interactions and a little bit more development in some of these characters. But honestly, it's kind of sad that it's taken this long into the season to maybe get a little bit more depth for some of these characters. But let's get into the recap. So for this episode, we start with the Don't Bothers once again being in a tie situation late in the game. This has been some of that lazy writing we've talked about before. So please do me a favor, go back through and watch some of my older videos on the Mighty Ducks. Also make sure you like and subscribe so you can see future reviews as well. But this tie scenario seems to be something they've gone to the will to a little bit too much. Maybe this is their way of showing that the Don't Bothers aren't as good as they actually are, but when you see them with the puck and skating around, they look like a completely different team. And unfortunately we haven't quite seen them get the kind of training that would allow them to have this kind of skill set. But I've kind of accepted that at this point. We're not really going to see them progress more naturally. This has been more of a sudden shift. But back to the tie game. So we get some slow motion here and the puck eventually gets passed to Nick who gets to take the last shot. He takes a slap shot and he's able to score. This is Nick's first goal and it's going to set up the B story for this episode. He's feeling pretty good about himself at this point. He's hoping to get the attention of some of the girls that are at the hockey game. He did just score the game winning goal after all. Unfortunately, they all go straight to Logan because Logan's a good looking kid. So this story is going to be about how Nick is going to be jealous of Logan. It actually has a pretty nice arc and ending in this episode, but we'll get to that. See a brief scene here with Nick's moms congratulating Alex on her progress so far as a coach. This is another arc in this episode that I really like, and it's actually going to extend past this episode. Alex created this team so these kids would be able to have more fun. The Don't Bothers are on a win streak though, and Alex is starting to really like winning. And so we're going to see her character start to shift towards wanting to win more than actually having fun. That's just natural when it comes to sports though. I think you'll always have more fun winning than losing. But that's just my personal opinion. We cut to the locker room and this is what I'm going to call the C story of this episode. Essentially Koob has not changed his socks ever since they started winning. And so they've become pretty gross. Maya's pretty disgusted by this but the rest of the team decides to follow suit. I won't go too much in depth on this part. It is what it is. It's typical sports superstition and we've all been there. It's funny, it's okay, it's cute. I don't really have any problems with this particular story. They keep it at a minimum and I'm okay with that. We'll see how it progresses though. After most of the team is cleared out, Bombay comes in to pick up the towels and kind of straighten up a little bit. Logan is still sitting in his locker. He's really depressed. Bombay is trying to get a feel for what's going on. And this is going to start a character arc in this episode that I really appreciate. Logan has been relegated to a background character that's just known for his good looks. And he's actually tired of that himself. He wants to be known for being good at something. And so this is where Bombay steps in and he's going to work a little bit of his magic. We start to see Logan open up about how his life has been up to this point. Everybody perceives him as being really good at everything. But he actually has kind of a tragic backstory here. And we'll find out more later in this episode. We see Alex talking to Sophie's parents. This is where the seed of winning really starts to take over for Alex. Sophie's mom has heard that Alex's boss Stephanie is starting to become a little intimidated by her and her team winning. And of course this just intrigues Alex even more. She wants to know exactly what she said and she wants to win even more now. Anything she could do to kind of stick it to her boss is a positive to her. Unfortunately this will start to be a detriment to the team and we'll see that as the episode plays out. In the next scene we cut to the law firm that Alex works at. And of course it's the law firm that's run by Ducksworth, Bombay's former boss. Now I'm not sure if this is just an easter egg or if it's actually going to come into play later on in the season. But we'll see. Nevertheless it's a fun little callback. It sounds like they've lost a really big case or at least a case that's going to wind up costing their clients a lot of money. And they seem to just be resigned with that happening. Alex actually steps up and mentions a loophole that will actually help the client save a lot of money. Stephanie is obviously fighting this and she doesn't want Alex to be heard in this meeting. She wants to keep Alex right where she's always been, under her foot. This impresses the head man at the table and he wants Alex to speak up more in the meetings. The look of disgust and fear on Stephanie's face is priceless here. Alex just keeps on winning and it's going to go to her head. We cut to Bombay helping Logan skate. He's pulling him with his stick as Logan pushes with his skates. The trick here was that Bombay just keeps talking to him about things while Logan unconsciously starts skating on his own. After a while Bombay actually lets go of the stick and to Logan's surprise he's skating on his own. Obviously he can't quite stop yet but we are seeing some progression with Logan in terms of his hockey skill and his character. So here we find out that after Logan's parents split they were actually buying him a bunch of fancy things. He has a really nice guitar and he has all of this nice hockey gear that he's never been able to use. 
So while his parents were buying him all of this cool stuff, they weren't actually taking the time to show him how to use any of this new fancy stuff. And so Logan's drive here is that he wants to be good at something. And that's really admirable. It sounds like Logan's dad has also kind of fallen apart a little bit, and Logan's been having to be the one that takes care of them to some extent. We'll get a little bit more in depth than that later in this episode, though. We cut to Nick talking to Winnie. He sees Logan trying to progress and getting better at skating. This actually makes him mad. He perceives Logan as being able to have everything in life, and the one thing that Nick had on him was the fact that he's actually scored a goal, whereas Logan hasn't. So if Logan continues to get better, then he'll be better at Nick at that thing too. I was a little worried at this story at first. I thought it was going to be another Nick story that was going to end kind of blandly like they usually do, but this one actually has a really nice payoff and I really enjoyed it. But for now, we have Nick jealous of Logan. We have Alex talking to Sophie's parents once again. They have all of these suggestions about nutrition, practices, and how the team should be run. Basically, they start sowing the seeds of how this team should be run like the Mighty Ducks team. And because Alex wants to win so badly, she writes all of these suggestions down because she's all for it. We start to see how this is actually affecting Alex and Evan. Sophie points out that Alex is acting just like her parents. And Evan is starting to see that too. Alex has actually been asked to do an interview for a local TV station about the progress she's made with the Don't Bothers. So we get a montage of a couple of things happening here. We're going to see the Don't Bothers go on a winning streak montage while Alex is doing her interview. And so there's a couple of things I want to talk about here. First off, I want to get the negative out of the way. I think the Don't Bothers in this montage are playing to a level that they're not actually capable of playing at. Again, we've seen them go from not being able to skate to be able to do really fancy stuff on the ice. The progression here doesn't quite make any sense. But I want to give that a pass because I just think that's where this series has gone. I don't think there's any getting over that at this point. The Don't Bothers went to A to Z and we didn't actually get to see any of the in-between. So as far as I can tell, that's pretty much over with. So let's get into the part I like. So we had this montage going on of the Don't Bothers winning games while Alex is doing this interview. And so Alex doing this interview, she's talking about how she made this team so Evan would be able to play and have fun. She wanted to be able to bring fun back into these kids' life without hockey being a job to them. And as this is going on, we're seeing Alex in each one of these games get more aggressive when it comes to wanting to win. She starts critiquing her players. She starts holding back some of her weaker players. She has full-on embraced the winning attitude. All while this interview is going on, while she's talking about just having fun. There's a great juxtaposition here. And I think it's really well done for what it is. She's preaching one thing, but in the games now, she's doing a completely different thing. And in the middle of this, Maya starts to join in with the others when it comes to wearing old socks. So we get a little bit more of that. We also see the kids having to drink nutritious drinks just like the Mighty Ducks were having to do. Basically, Alex is shifting this team more towards the Mighty Ducks philosophy than what the Don't Bothers were actually built on. After that montage, we see Alex and Evan sitting in the pizzeria. Coach T is actually there as well. He and Alex kind of butt heads a little bit, but it's actually really funny. I mean, it's really goofy and it's not taken seriously at all, but I just kind of like the interaction between the two. They're both really awkward, but trying to prove a point. And literally, the argument is about breadsticks. It's, it's really well done. I think you should guys go see it. It, it. It'll make you laugh. After that little run-in, Evan is basically saying to his mom that she's more worried about winning. And Alex agrees, but she likes winning. And her argument with Evan is that they want to keep winning. It makes them feel good. And so Evan just kind of concedes that at this point. We cut to Logan making pancakes again. He's actually making them for Bombay for helping him learn how to skate better. It hasn't helped him score any, but he does feel just a little bit more confident. Nick is actually here to kind of poke fun at him a little bit, to kind of bring him down. But while this is happening, Bombay notices that Logan is really good at flipping pancakes. And this starts to get those Bombay wheels turning, and I think he has a little something special in store for Logan. So Bombay takes Logan out on the ice. He had him bring the pancake spatula with him. He wants to see if he's capable of flipping the puck with that spatula. And Logan is a natural at this. This leads to a progression of where Logan is able to flip the puck up on his stick without using the spatula. So I really, really like this. Bombay saw that this kid had a very specific skill set, and he's going to help him utilize that within the game of hockey. There's a really good payoff here. There was a great setup, there was a good middle, and there's a good ending to it. This is how you write progression. This is how you should write a character. This is something that we should have been given in all of the previous episodes. Each one of these kids should have had this unique opportunity. Maybe not all of them, but for the majority of them, their special skill set should have been unlocked. This was as close to the Mighty Ducks as we've gotten to this point. So Logan has shown that he's really proficient with having the puck on his stick. So we'll see how it turns out. So the Don't Bothers are at the final game of their season. They have to win this game to make the state tournament. 
We cut to the locker room where all of the kids have decided to take off their socks. Because of how badly they stink and itch, Coob doesn't want to, but they force them off anyway. Again, nice little story here. It's not meant to actually escalate anything or bring you to a certain point, but it does have kind of a funny payoff. And then we get to a scene between Nick and Logan. And in my opinion, this has been the best scene of the entire show up to this point. We kind of see Nick and Logan have a little heart-to-heart here. Nick is expressing how he feels compared to Logan. He sees Logan as good at everything, and Nick isn't good at anything. And then we hear some more of the specifics about how Logan's family life actually is. And it's really sad. So after his mom left, Logan's dad really fell apart. And Logan got good at flipping pancakes because he was having to cook for his dad. He was basically holding his dad together. And at that young age, that must have been a very difficult thing to do. And so Logan lets Nick know that he's actually jealous of him. He has a stable home life where people love him and take care of him. And Logan wishes he had that. And this is where Nick realizes that he hasn't been the best human being up to this point. People aren't perfect. They have their own problems. They have their own issues. Maybe on the outside it seems like everything is going good for them. But maybe at home or on the inside, things are just not working out for them. And so this was a really great moment between these two characters. Logan really carries this. The young actor really did a good job here. The feeling of what he was saying really came through well. So we cut to some of the action between the Don't Bothers and the Huskies. Bombay is trying to get Logan into the game. He wants him to be able to use the skills that he's been able to learn throughout this episode. Alex refuses to put him in. She really wants to win this game and she sees Logan as a detriment to the team and probably not somebody that's going to help them win. So we're going to see a couple of times where Bombay asks for Logan to get in the game here. And Alex will continue to refuse. The team is dog-tired towards the end of the game here. Alex isn't changing the lines up because she's keeping her best players on the ice the entire time because she really wants to win. So Bombay calls a timeout. Once again, Alex refuses to put Logan in the game. This upsets the kids. Evan even points out that everybody should be able to play. That was the whole point of the team. So Nick is able to concoct a distraction to keep Alex from seeing that they're going to put Logan in the game in place of Nick. And this leads to the payoff that was properly set up in this episode. Logan gets the puck on his stick, and he scores the goal that Bombay taught him how to do. The Don't Bothers win the game, and they're going to state. The Don't Bothers are celebrating in their locker room, and we see that Koob actually put his dirty socks in his helmet, and he was wearing them the entire time. That's the final payoff to the C story. It was nice. It was funny. I did not have a problem with it at all. Alex comes into the room. She's extremely upset. The kids don't know why because they won the game. But the kids did disrespect her as the coach. They went against what she was telling them to do, and she's not happy with it. She kicks the trash can, pushes down the sticks that are on the rack, and the look on the faces of the kids tells you everything. They've seen Alex go from somebody who just wanted them to have fun to somebody who only cares about winning. And there's this look of shock and awe and just kind of a bewilderment about what's happening. There's a little bit of reflection here from Alex as she's kind of just seeing what she's done until she walks out of the room. My guess is that maybe this is going to lead to Alex stepping away from the team a little bit and having Bombay primarily coach. I do think that by the end of the season, she will be back coaching. I'm hoping it's not the next episode, though. I really, really want them to linger on some of this stuff. This was a good turning point for Alex. She's become the one thing that she never wanted to be. So let's simmer on that a little bit. Let's really fill it out. Let's see how that progresses and where that takes her. I want her to have an arc here, because I think it's going to be one of the more important arcs of the series. This is going to define her going forward. So let's really soak it in and get the most out of it. Sophie mentions that this was the exact reason she left the Mighty Ducks. She doesn't want to play for somebody like this. And the episode effectively ends. We don't really know where the Don't Bother stand with all of this. We don't know how the team is going to go forward, and I really like that. There's some intrigue here. I actually want to tune in to the next episode. It's exactly the kind of TV writing that you want to do. I don't think I would have found this episode as positive as I did if this had just been wrapped up here at the end. If Alex was okay in the locker room, like, oh yeah, you guys were right. I think that would have killed the momentum here. I'm fine with Logan's story arc wrapping up because I think it was enough. The story arc for Alex really needs to continue just a little bit longer for us to feel it more. So all in all, this is one of the better episodes of this show. This episode should have been a blueprint for all of the other episodes. Everything here was well done. We got some solid hockey action. We got some good character growth. We got some questions that haven't been answered yet. And there was enough humor there to keep things a little bit lighter. This was a solid episode, and I recommend you checking it out. So let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I think for the majority of us, we really didn't like the last episode. But I think this was a nice pick-me-up for this series. I need more of this, Disney. You give me more of this, and I'll keep watching for the long term.
So if you like this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe for more going forward. I hope today's the day that I earned your subscription. Thanks for being a part of my life, and I'll see you next time.